Hello everyone, my name is Hamada Zahra. I'm a PhD student in the data science group Badarbon University. Today I'm presenting to you our approach for the entity typing task in knowledge graphs. This is a joint work with Stefan Heindorf and Professor Axel Nguonga from Badarborn University. Entity typing task aims to infer missing types of entities in knowledge graphs. This is one of the most significant tasks for knowledge graph construction and completion. For example, in DBpedia knowledge graph, around 36% of entities don't have any types. Also the case for free-based knowledge graph, around 10% of entities which are labeled with artist music are missing type people person, for example. Last year, several approaches have been proposed, including unsupervised and supervised. However, unsupervised approaches achieve poor performances compared to supervised methods and also require human intervention to label the classing output. For supervised approaches, they require large amounts of labeled data, which are expensive to obtain and time consuming to annotate this large data. In this paper, we proposed a novel approach for this task that leverages semi-supervised learning. In particular, our approach follows the teacher-student paradigm that allows learning from small labeled data and large unlabeled data. To verify the effectiveness of our approach, we conducted several experiments to answer the following questions. First, how effective our approach compared with state-of-the-art baselines, given that we have the same number of training examples? Second, how does the performance of our approach and the baselines depend on the size of the available training examples? Now, this is how teacher-student learning algorithm works in our approach. We have two datasets, labeled data and unlabeled data. First, we train the teacher model on the labeled data for a number of epochs until the model converge. Then we use this trained teacher model to predict labels for the unlabeled data set. We call it situ labels. And we combine post data labeled and situ labels together into one data set, then we train the student model on it. We repeat this process for a number of iterations by using the student model as a new teacher for the next iteration. For our experiment, we use two benchmarking data sets, Freebase 15K ET and Diago 43K ET. These are benchmarking datasets for entity typing task. We used only 10% for the first experiments of labeled data to evaluate the performance. As we can see on the table, our approach asset achieved superior performances compared with all baseline approaches. We attribute this performance margin because our approach leverages learning from post data, not only labeled data, but also unlabeled data set, which is not the case with other baselines. For the second experiment, we conducted, we evaluated the performance given that we have different ratios of labeled data. We tried with 0.1 percentage and 1 percentage and 10 percentage and 80 percentage. Our evaluation, evaluation results show that our approach achieves significant performances compared to baselines. In particular, we have very few training data like 0.1 percentage or 1 percentage of the data. To summarize, we propose a novel approach for knowledge graph entity typing by leveraging semi-supervised learning. Our approach uses teacher-student learning paradigm that learn from labeled data and unlabeled data. In the future work, we plan to extend our experiment on wiki data and predict new introduced types with little training data and unseen types as well. Thanks for listening, and now the time for questions.